What's your main concern right now? Uh, well, my main concern is to, uh, to work to avoid uh, recession. I think it's yep. still possible. Uh, we have a very low growth in yep. the European Union, mainly carryover of the, the, yep. the great expansion after the COVID crisis. But I think with a good interplay between monetary policy and fiscal policy, we can avoid the recession. We had an exclusive interview with Christine Lagarde yesterday. She says, look, recession is not their base case. So what could tip us over? Well, the fact that we still um, have a, the, the impact of the reopening of our economy, especially on the services, uh, uh, tourism, person-to-person uh, uh, -person services were closed for many, for a long, long time, and their reopening is still giving some uh, boost to our economies. Of course, the Russian invasion changed everything, and we have to face uh, the risk that these high energy prices uh, brings down the consensus to our governments, and so we have to take measures. But these measures should be temporary, yeah. targeted, so a, a narrow path, as we yeah. say. Is, is the biggest challenge for Europe right now that politicians understand that they can't leave people behind? So I don't know whether it's subsidies, I don't know whether it's a windfall tax on, on oil companies to make sure that you keep the citizens with you. This is absolutely necessary. But we've, we have also to know uh, that this is not what we uh, were doing during the pandemic. This is not, again, the universal uh, support for yeah. all. This is targeted because, of course, for example, energy prices, uh, those that are suffering are mostly the vulnerable households because they spend a lot of their income for fuel, for right. heating, and for this. And we can't give this kind of support forever and for everyone. We should right. give it to those that are suffering. But so I, we need to reform the energy market. I had a panel yeah. with the Prime Minister of Spain who's extremely angry, saying, I have a lot of renewable energy, but I'm paying these prices because of the, the way the things are done. When will that get reformed? I think this is uh, absolutely understandable. We are, the, the real reform, if I may say so, is to go out from dependency of uh, fossil fuels, Russian fossil fuels, but fossil fuels overall, yeah. and gas also, dependency. So this is also an opportunity for the European Union, because we are in this crisis, but we have now the need yes. to accelerate the climate transition and get out from the dependency. Commissioner, maybe longer term, but shorter term, what happens if there's a gas embargo? First of all, or will we agree on an oil embargo? And if Russia looks at Europe and says, well, actually, guys, I'm going to turn off the taps, what happens to this economy? Well, we are not proposing gas embargoes. No. Uh, but, but the Russians could do it. Well, I think they will hesitate to shoot in, the, in their foot. Uh, it's, it's not something that... Russia can do easily because you can divert your oil, you can't divert your gas. But anyway, now we are proposing the oil embargo. As you know, we are um, working to build uh, an agreement, unanimous agreement. Uh, we are not yet there, but we are hopeful that we can reach an agreement in the coming uh, yeah. days, in the coming week. Okay. We will see. But overall, but Everything functioned very well because we are all discussing on the fact that Hungary is not supporting the yes. oil embargo, and it's true, but we are working on this. Yes. But on the other side, we have huge package of sanctions. They are working, and this is unprecedented for the European Union. But should the European Union, the Commission, just go and have an oil embargo without Hungary if in the next couple of days you, you can't turn them? <clears throat> uh, I, I don't like... Um, to discuss Plan B <laughs> when we are working on the Plan yeah, A. I've, I've, I've covered the European Union for 20 years. I know that <laughs> Plan B is not discussed a bit like the Fight Club yeah. a, until we get there. Commissioner, so talk to me about a recession. What is the probability that, that you know this region goes into recession? And what kind of recession is it? Like the 1980s or like 2008? Uh, well, I don't think we risk uh, a crisis similar to the one 
of 2008, neither to the, the 80s. What we have is, for the first time in, th in this century, high inflation, yeah. and the monetary policy will react to this. But at the same time, I think we have some boost to our economy that could keep it in the positive territory. The problem is how we manage the transition from the fiscal supportive overall uh, stance to the selected temporary and how also we address to the fact that uh, people and families are losing purchasing power yes. uh, but of course compensating this uh, again should take into account the fact that inflation will yes. at a certain point probably at the end of this year begin to go down. Is a windfall tax for energy companies the right way to go? To I think it's one of the tools that the European Commission is suggesting to member states and some of them, for example, the Italian government, Has decided it. it.